We're at Bill Johnson Community Stadium on the campus of Foothill High School, where the Cougars have made it to four Northern Section Division I championships in the, in the past seven years. I'm TJ Holmes, and alongside next to me is Thomas Lawrence. We're joined by Foothill's first year varsity head coach, Joey Brown, and senior quarterback, Ryan Pollard, who broke several records last year for Foothill. Now, Coach Joey Brown is starting a new era following Brian Hamilton and his prolific shotgun fly offense. Coach, you're kind of shifting to more of a, a traditional offense where you're putting Ryan Pollard under center. Why the change and who's going to be crucial in, in running this offense and making sure it's successful this season? Uh, I think the change is mainly for our personnel uh, to give us a, a good chance to win at all three levels. You know, obviously, uh, Brian ran a really, a really well established offense in this area. Uh, but, you know, it's looking at the skills of our, of our athletes here, uh, what we have in our backfield, uh, the offensive line, uh, I felt making a switch to a, a more traditional offense, as you say, would, uh, would allow our players to have the most success uh, in this transition year. You know, Ryan, you had a, you know, a lot happened to you there in your junior season. You stepped into a situation that had been winning for a long time, and you're able to succeed within that. You know, this year you have that offensive transition. How are you looking forward to that and kind of managing that as a quarterback, and what do you want to do now as one of the few senior leaders on this team? Well, I think that as a quarterback, the number one priority is to manage the game, and it's not all about throwing touchdowns and you know, rushing yards or anything like that. It's about winning. And I think that with this new offense, it might not be the prolific, you know, 60 yard touchdown passes every single time, but it'll uh, it'll give, give us a good shot to win this year. So I know I know it's early, and you know you just started camp and everything, but you did have spring, so it's kind of a little early to talk a little bit about weaknesses and strengths. But if you kind of did have to pick one, that's kind of an unexpected strength, Joey. That that is often overshadowed that, uh, that this team might have. What, what would you have to pick? I think the strength that our team is is our is our senior leadership. Uh, that was an unexpected, unexpected surprise for me. Uh, me. I met with our guys uh, the first week I got the job. I met with several of the leaders and uh, talked to them about their expectations, what their goals were for themselves, for me, and they they really had a lot of goals for the team. You know, Coach, one big change this year is a lot of playmakers gone on the defensive side of the ball, but you do have a few there like Willie Mitchell who will be vital to this team. Tell me a bit about the defense and how just how important those guys are who have been there and who have that skill to stop some of the better offensive players in the section because, you know, the northern section, just like college football, is becoming an increasingly more offensive place, you know. So how is that defense shaping up for you guys this season? Yeah, definitely offense uh, set the tone last year in our section. Uh, but I, I, I really believe Willie's going to be a huge, uh, a, a huge anchor for our defense, uh, mainly in stopping the run. Uh, I think the team that, that is going to work hard at stopping the run and, and, and managing uh, third down is, is going to be the team that's going to be there at the end. And, and Willie's going to play a huge part, figuratively and literally, in, in that aspect of our defense. Now, Ryan, I, I kind of look at the schedule that you guys have. You know, you lost to Paradise twice last year. You know, they're the ones that knocked you out of the playoffs. Then you look at the shootout that you guys just fell a little short, you know, against Enterprise. Both of those, you know, all those games were on the road. Paradise actually comes to here to Bill Johnson Community Stadium for the first time since 2008. You get to avenge, try and avenge those two losses, and you get Enterprise, a big rivalry game back here on your home field. What, what are these two games, kind of looking at this schedule, really mean to you and to this team to be able to try and win this game at home? Well, it's huge for us because we're going to be road warriors for the first half of the season. And then we get a huge home game here for first our first home game of the season against Paradise. And then Enterprise is also going to be a good opponent to play. And I think, uh, I think that people are going to be surprised with um, the way we play this year and just our attitude about everything. And I think we're going to surprise a few people. Coach, a little bit of a different wrinkle to your schedule this year is not having that home game until October 4th when you face Paradise. And some of those road tests are long drives and they're tough. You know, you go to Reed, you go to Elk Grove, you know, a really incredible team from last year. On the other side of it, you finish with four of your last six at home. So as a coach, looking back, getting ready for the schedule, what stands out to you? Are you frustrated that you have to be on the road so early? Do you see that as something that can kind of build your team? Well, obviously the schedule's not a perfect scenario for us. But again, I, like I said, with our senior leadership, 
Uh, I, I think that's that's a strength that we're going to use in our schedule. Like Ryan said, he alluded to, uh, you know, we've really embraced the idea of road warriors this year. Uh, we're going to get to wear our whites a lot, and and we're going to enjoy the atmospheres that we're going to be around. We're going to be in some great atmospheres, Elk Grove. Well, you heard Coach saying that they have that gauntlet ahead of them. And there's a lot of moving parts in this in this uh, system here under him as the new head coach, but they still have a few key players back with Ryan Pollard, with also running back Blake Burnett. But it's going to matter up to a few a few key guys that are maybe some unexpected unexpected playmakers down the road. For more high school football action, check out PrepBeat.com.